everybody, it's me, Mr. Records a lot. I make videos weekly. Wait, no, I don't. I haven't made you guys a new video in like over a month. So I apologize. Um, I've been wanting to get some videos done for a long time, but somehow every week I seem to find an excuse to push it off. But finally, here we are this week with uh, my first new manga haul in quite a while. Um, so I don't have a ton of books over the last couple months, but I do have some ones that I've been picking up. Um, I actually, actually, I can't say I don't have a ton of books because I kind of do, seeing as I've got a box you might see behind you that has not been in my collection before, but we will get to that momentarily. Um, first we're going to go ahead and take a look at all the ones I have here, um, on the little desk. Uh, most of them are new releases, uh, a couple, I, like six of the volumes are older books that I picked up at thrift stores, but we'll go through those in a second. Alright, so we'll start all the way over here on the left in the front, and we have, um, we'll just go through these fairly quickly, I won't keep around too long. So we have Volume 4 of Immortal Hounds, um, and then a lot of these are the ones I've been reading and, like, I'm going to do some reviews on very soon. Some of them are going to be doing right at the same session as I'm recording this video here. Um, so we have the Saga of Titania the Evil, uh, of Tanya, why did I say <laughs> of Titania? I'm, apparently I've got fairy tale in the brain, so I haven't got a chance to read this one yet, but I'm going to re read this one this afternoon. So what, I'm a Spider Volume 1. I'm going to do a video on this one rather soon. This one I have read and I'm looking forward to uh, talk to you guys more about. I actually quite enjoyed it. It's a very unique... It's it's not unique and it is unique at the same time, but um, I liked it. I liked it quite a bit. Um, then we have Goblin Slayer. Um, was not ready. I had never heard of volume, um, Goblin Slayer before I read it, so I'm going to talk about this one as well in a video, but yikes. Not for the faint of heart. Um, is it wrong to pick up Girls in a Dungeon Volume? 7, one of those Guilty Pleasure series. It's nothing incredible, but for some reason I really enjoy reading it for fun. Um, so I can't play H volumes um, 3 and 4. <clears throat> My voice is terrible this morning. Um, a Certain Magical Index, Volume 10, and A Certain Magical Index, Volume 9. Um, and then moving over here, we actually have, uh, I mean, I, I probably have no credibility as a manga reviewer. I didn't. I never had any before. Um, but I love my Monster Secret. I can't tell you why. I can't really explain it. It's got to be my favorite Seven Seas release. Um, I love my Monster Secret. Like I honestly can't get enough of it. Um, I'm always waiting for the new release. I really like this series. I, maybe I should do a bit more in-depth review on this series sometimes. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what to say. I really enjoy it. I love the characters. I love the world. It's simple. I like Slice of Life stories, and this is like my ultimate of everything I enjoy about a Slice of Life story. Except for maybe the love, tri oh, the, the love triangle. It's not really a harem, because, which is nice, um, but there is obviously multiple characters characters. But anyway, it's really fun. I, I love My Monster Secret, and I really, um, I really recommend it. Um, then we have Anti-Magic Academy, the 35th Test Platoon. Um, I haven't had a chance to read this one yet, um, but I think it's, um, this is just a standalone one volume thing, all in one. Um, we'll skip the light novels for now, although I say that. Maybe I won't. That's not. We're gonna go through. So that was. Um, so we went through Yen Press. Um, the first volume we did, Immortal Hound, was um, vertical. Um, so now we just did um, Seven Seas, and now we're onto the Seven Seas light novels, which is really cool. So Seven Seas has dipped their toe into the realm of light novels along with um, Yen, which is really great. Um, so they're gonna bring out probably some of the more maybe etchy ones well it's yet to be seen um this is um monster girl doctor and seven seas pretty much has the corner clipped on the monster girl um for the most part the monster girl genre and they do a really good job bringing fans those series um perfect blue which i hear is pretty good i um, haven't got a chance to read that yet and then this one this is a hefty volume i wasn't even going to get this and in truth I, th I actually thought it was a manga volume i got it on um the barnes and noble uh manga monday but it's fine it's still cool it's a really hefty volume so i'm i really can't complain um so that one i it won't be anytime soon i get to that but hopefully i will get to that sometime in the future um and then we have occult nine volumes one and two as well um so sadly it'll probably be a while before i really get to any of these um i did start uh Monster Girl Doctor, which was enjoyable, and I, when I say star, I'm only like a chapter or two in, so not very far at all, but I did like what I read so far. Um, and then is this the manga version, or the, no, this is the novel version of Your Name, volume, I believe this is volume one. Or is there only one volume? I'm not really sure, but I think there's more than one volume. Um, then we have uh, the hard copy of Brave. Um, Awkward was really cool, I've actually met um, 
the creator uh, once before. And funnily enough, the store I went to, um, they had signed copies, which was really cool. So this one's signed, so that's pretty cool. Because my other copy, I got signed from her at a convention. So that is cool to have that one. Um, then we have My Hero Academia. Uh, it's got to be one of my favorite things I'm reading right now. It's really enjoyable. One of the best shonen. Uh, I know it's only 11 volumes in. Uh, you never know where shonen will go. Bleach used to be one of the best, my favorite shonen, which says a lot. But, um, got to be one of my favorite shonen right now. It's such high hopes for this series. Like, it's so good, and I really hope it continues its success. Um... Kirigumi Guardians. I'm going to be bringing a review of uh, this one as well pretty soon. This one's interesting. I'll talk about it more, but it's... It was like fluffy, got kind of like a shoujo feel. This one's from um, Kodansha. So yeah, I don't know. I, I liked it. I didn't dislike it, but I don't know if it would be for everybody. Um, Kimono Friends. Uh, this one, everyone I think knows the anime. Um, I didn't actually get to watch much of the anime. The spine on this is beautiful, by the way. Um, but I'm really looking forward to reading this uh, volume. I haven't got a chance to yet, but it looks really good and really fun. I'm looking forward to getting that done. Um, Sweet Blue Flowers. Uh, I'll do a review of this one as well. I finished this volume. Um, it was a good, solid uh, Yuri story. Um, kind of like a coming-of-age Yuri story. Um... But, like, very, very different, not anywhere in the realm of something like Citrus. This is very much, I guess you could say, the opposite of Citrus, honestly. Um, but it was good. Definitely um, something that Yuri fans, I think, would really enjoy. Now, going on to some old volumes I got at a thrift shop. Um, so, Sorcerer uh, Hunters. I've got, like, random volumes of this I find all the time. So, one of these days, I'll, I'll collect them all, but it'll be, like, in a <laughs> Where's Waldo fashion. Uh, Shadow Star. Um, I picked this up. I, I don't know why it's like volume 5, but I'd like to get it. It looked cool, so now I'm going to try and find the rest of them. So the hunt is on for those. Um, then we have here some old uh, shoujo. Oh, not shoujo. Shonen uh, manga that I've never read Whistle before. So Whistle, I believe, is a soccer manga, so it's a sports manga. But I got uh, these at the store for pretty cheap. Um, so one, two, three, four. And five. So I got all five of those volumes. Looks like I have a couple other ran old volumes that I picked up as well while I was there. Uh, Peach Girl Volume 1. It was, I think it was in the 50 cent bin at the, at the thrift shop. So I went in and picked that up. And I thought I was missing Volume 5 of um, Flame, Flame of Rekka. I'm not. So, yay for double volumes. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys. Oh, I almost forgot the most important thing. So here we have... Finally, probably at long last, uh, the first box set um, of One Piece. So, I have a weird history with One Piece. I've never watched it, and I've never read it. I've owned Volume 1 for like four years, but I've never read it. Um, I Don't ask me why. I think it's just a combination of the characters look ridiculous, and... I started the first volume, it didn't catch my attention right away, so I never picked it up again. But obviously One Piece is one of the most iconic, most popular manga in history. So I just know that I have to read it at some point. And I've been waiting for to find the box sets at like a really Ooh, excuse me, good price. I knew at some point, the box that's out long enough, it's going to be on sale for like a ridiculous price. So this is volumes 1 through 23 plus a little extra bonus volume. Um, and sure enough, on Amazon this past weekend, um, I saw someone post on Twitter something about the One Piece volumes being... Um, but anyway, I was on Amazon, um, and I went and took a peek, and sure enough, all of the box sets were like this fluctuating price of like super cheap. So like when I first saw this first box set, it was like 40% off, and then I checked later, and it was like 49% off. Um, so I, I ended up waiting a little while, and kind of like rolling the dice that they wouldn't keep going, that they wouldn't go up and down, because that's kind of what they were doing. And so when I finally pulled the trigger, I got all three <laughs> One Piece box sets, so volumes 1 through 70, um, for a combination of like, I think it was like 51, 57, and 56% off, um, all the box sets, which brought them, you know, cut obviously their prices in over half, which is huge, which is crazy. So that was really cool, a really good find. I really didn't want to spend all that money right now to get all these One Piece volumes, but I just couldn't pass that up. So, hey, I think it made each volume like three fifty dollars a piece if I were to buy them at full retail price. Um, 
Well, I mean, just in general, I mean, if I was to buy them all individually, that's what it would have cost me, 350 So crazy, 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 really good duel. Um, duel? Man, I cannot speak in this video. My goodness, am I drunk? I swear I must be drunk. Um, I hope not. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. But anyway, um, awesome to finally get this and to uh, really need to start reading these. Well, guys, it looks like that's going to about do it for these past couple months um, of me picking up manga. So, like I said, I'm going to have, like, mm, whatever it is, like, 50-ish more volumes on the way of One Piece. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, I, I had a really fun haul. This was a good haul. There's some uh, manga here I really want to make some videos on and uh, go from there. But thanks to a whole bunch for sticking with me, guys. Um, I know my video schedule has been awful. Um, I apologize for a lot of the videos just being JLS videos. The only reason those keep getting made is because I kind of have to make those because they keep sending me boxes. So as long as they keep sending me boxes, I, I can't not make a video. Uh, because that would be n very disgenuous <laughs> of me. So expect to, uh, it's probably already out. Um, probably was new to this video. But anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoy um, this manga haul, and I'll see you soon with some manga reviews. Bye! Hey, remember when I said I only had one of the One Piece box sets in the mail? Well, before I actually got the video uploaded, the other two showed up. So I figured, hey, I'd tack them on to the end of the video because, hey, why not, right? Alright, so here they are. I'm not going to go into them in like any kind of like crazy amount of detail. But as you can see, here's this one here, and I'll just go ahead and like show you like the back and stuff, just so you can see the art on the box. And then we'll just open it up so you can see inside. So yeah, like I said, I got these um, on a really good sale. Uh, I think I got the second box set right here for... It's about... I think I got this one like for almost 80 on the nose, which like I said, is like almost 60% off or something ridiculous. These things like MSRP at like 185. So like over $100 off per box set is pretty insane. I couldn't pass it up. Um, this is like the little extra book it comes with that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is the box set. There's that one. There's not nothing, like I said, we're not going to take too long to look at these things. I'm just going to pack them on the other video and show you guys. Um, and then here's the third one. This box is like a little bit bigger than the other boxes, which of course, it's like, why? <laughs> My manga collecting OCD is very upset. Um, and so here's the back of the box. These boxes are really good shape. Like I said, they were brand new, so um, they should be. And then, blammo. And here's this one. And then now I have volumes. Uh, one Piece Volumes 1 through 70. So, yeah. Um, that, uh, it's a lot of One Piece to uh, suddenly be like, never read it before. Well, here you go. So, yeah. Uh, thanks again for watching. We've already done an outro. But anyway, have, have some One Piece. See you next time. Bye.